Hi, this is Isha coming at you from the Mad Scientist Studio, and I wanted to show you how you can connect Ableton to Pro Tools in the new 2022.9. Now they've added AuxIO, you can use Ableton as an audio instrument or a vocal sampler and run the audio straight into Pro Tools while keeping all of the MIDI work in Pro Tools. Let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do now that I'm in Pro Tools is go to Setup I.O. And then for my input, I'm going to go to Aux I.O. And then I'm going to add Pro Tools Audio Bridge 2A. Now I'm going to make an audio track that I can use to monitor what's coming from Ableton. So I'm going to make a stereo aux track and I'm going to set the input to that Pro Tools audio bridge. Okay, then I'm going to flip over to Ableton here and I've already made a acapella of the vocals that I wanted to chop up. So I'm going to go to Simpler and make a new Simpler track and then I'm going to drag the vocals into it. Then go to Slice, and now we have all these individually sampled vocals. We can't hear anything yet. Then in Ableton, you're going to go to your preferences and go to Audio, and an Audio Output device will be set to Pro Tools Audio Bridge 2A. Then anything that you do in Ableton will come out that bus and go into Pro Tools. Then I can go to my audio track and you can hear that I can now trigger those vocal samples. Now I want to get the MIDI aspect of this working. I'm going to actually go to my audio MIDI setup and you go to Window Show MIDI Studio. And then I have this IAC driver set up for live. So if you have not used this before, this should be blank and there might be nothing listed here. It may say no available ports. You come in here and you click this add button and then you'll have a port here, MIDI in and out channel one and you can name it Ableton driver for live. Now, if you go back into Pro Tools and you make a MIDI track and then I can set the output of the MIDI track to be the ISAC driver and then when I go into Ableton I can also set that IAC driver and now I can do MIDI in Pro Tools but it triggers Ableton. So now I could record. And my MIDI is all in here. So if I wanted to go in and edit it, I could move notes around or I could quantize it. So this is all basically to replace rewire that used to work in Pro Tools. That went away a long time ago. Here's a new way that I've been able to figure it out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. If you're interested in mixing, production, lessons, or coming over to record at the Mad Scientist Studio, check out the link down below in the description. Thanks again. See you later.